Hi, I'm Dr. Samantha Deanna, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Center for Emotional Health of Greater Philadelphia. I'm going to share some information with you today on self-compassion. Due to the current pandemic, we are all trying to adapt to the many changes in our lives, such as working from home and adhering to health and safety recommendations. During times like this of increased stress, it is common to experience feelings of anxiety, frustration, and sadness. While these feelings are a natural response to change, they may lead us to be more critical of ourselves and others. Maybe you've already caught yourself saying things like, I should have been more productive today, or I'm so dumb, why did I do that? Self-compassion involves offering understanding and kindness to ourselves. When you're having a difficult time, make a mistake or notice something you don't like about yourself. Practicing regular self-compassion has been linked to decreases in depression, anxiety, and stress, as well as increases in life satisfaction. There are many ways to practice self-compassion, but they all involve three key elements, self-kindness, mindful awareness, and an understanding that suffering is part of the human experience, meaning we are not in it alone. I'm going to walk you through a brief self-compassion practice now that incorporates these three elements. The practice is called the self-compassion break, and it was developed by doctors Kristen Neff and Christopher Germer. Begin by thinking of a situation in your life that is difficult, that is causing you stress. Call the situation to mind and see if you can actually feel the stress and emotional discomfort in your body. Now say to yourself, this is a moment of suffering. We're bringing mindful awareness to the fact that we are suffering. Finding any language that speaks to you Language such as, this hurts, ouch, this is stressful. Next, acknowledging that suffering is part of life. We're reminding ourselves of our common humanity here. You might say, other people feel this way. I'm not alone. We all struggle. Now putting your hands over your heart and feeling your chest. Say to yourself, may I be kind to myself, using any language that supports that sense of kindness. Maybe something you would say to a good friend that is going through a similar situation. Is there a phrase that speaks to you in your particular situation, such as, may I give myself the compassion that I need? May I learn to accept myself as I am? May I forgive myself. May I be strong. May I be patient. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to share it. My colleagues and I at CEH are dedicated to the specialized care and the evidence-based treatments of anxiety disorders, OCD and related disorders, and neurodevelopmental disorders, and we are available to provide telehealth via secure internet video conferencing. Thank you for watching.